people. It is your boy PKG Deluxe back with another vid on how I did. You already know what it is. And so there was something that I left you guys, um, I guess, stood still whoop on. Um, because there was a moment in time where I was talking about selling my car and what the next turn of events was going to be for that reason. Okay, so let's just go back to that little bit of a story. I did end up selling my car and I ended up selling both of my cars. So um, there was a point in time where I was going to take those cars, use those, and make a lot of money off of them because they were cheap old cars and probably the best thing that I had to do was change the oil on them, right? Wrong. So both of the engines blew in um, both of the motor vehicles and was not the best resource to use, I guess, because they were lemons. So I had to understand what was a better variable of things I could do once I sold my cars, right? And that next variable of things I chose to do was an app. Okay, so now we're back to another app, right? We are. We are back to another app. This app right here probably became the most resourceful tool of information that I probably, I've probably i gotten within... Man, I wish I would have had it at least seven months ago. I, I would say that because... It allows you and also the options of possibilities to do exactly what you need to do, when you need to do it, and how you need to do it without no expense of anyone else. And that is an app called Turo. So I decided to sell my car at that time. I was using my parents' car. I was trying to get a car, and then that was not the best part of the plan to use. And going into it, I decided to use an app called Turo. So Turo is an app based where essentially you can get a car for either $29 a day or $500 a day. It's, it's your call on that one. But it gives you the option to say, hey, if I'm going to be um, doing business trips or going to and from locations, why don't I have a car on Turo? And a person that does have a car on Turo is going to allow you to rent their car because um, the rental company enterprises, um, they don't have the same option for renting for people since the pandemic began and they've been short on cars here and there and so Toro I guess was either devised out of California I'm unsure I have to go look up more on that one but um it was given to me out of an Uber driver who told me about it and I looked into it and then the next week I was going on an Uber ride or Lyft ride whichever one of the two to go get a vehicle off of Toro to go use to make money off of and yes, this is what I started using to start to make profit. So how did it work? So here, here's a quick example of one. You have cars that's listed on the app, right? Click on the car. The car gives you a feature, an amount, date, place pickup, discount if applicable, and it gives you a certain amount of mileage. This one just happens to be unlimited. So that's a good one. That means if you want to go anywhere you wanted to go, you could. They show you pictures of the cars. In other words, they give you what would be a great resource tool to go out and make money, right? And it gives you a cost. So like how long do you want to take it out? What days do you want to use it for, et cetera, et cetera. Those things add into it to let you know that, hey, this car is going to be used for this amount of time frame. Now, they do that because, one, it gives them the option if someone has... I don't know, seven, eight, nine cars or so. And they just wanted to get something to go on the interstate to start moving, you know, and they wanted to make money off of it. This was one of those ways of things that they can do. And it came to a point where, okay, well, if someone has a car that, you know, a Honda or a Toyota, whatever may be the case, they're able to give you that car for $40 a day. If you want to go use it for $40 a day and you're able to go make income in a different way. So since then, if I would have known about that seven months ago, I probably wouldn't have purchased any of the cars that I went with. Um, that would have saved me a lot of time, effort, energy. Um, but it would have also helped me out in the long run because I knew what I would have been working on. The problem I had and the biggest reason I had a problem was because of the mileage time, like how long it would take me to get to and from a location. Well, that would have alleviated that because I didn't have a restriction on time and where I needed to be back. So now the reason I say about this app is because there you well, there's a car or there are cars that you could purchase for weeks at a time, months at a time, whatever may be the case. Let's just say you do get one for a week, right? So you purchase a car for a week. You can schedule a lot of jobs that you want to do for the entire week that you're out and make either the money back or plus more. Typically, if I have a car for a week, I'm able to make 
maybe two times, three times the amount that I spend on it. And then I try to rinse and repeat. I take what I use from the last job, buy another car, etc., etc. Had I been doing that seven months ago of the same metric, I would have been well okay because I know how much profitability this job or the skills that I have can bring me just by having my tool bag and my ladder behind me. Um, I'm able to make a lot of different changes in regards to that just alone. So it's one thing to look into and a next thing to wonder. But I give you that ingredients of game because two row is definitely something I wish someone would have told me about a long time ago. Um, it definitely aids out in the, in the long run of things when, depending on what you do and uh, what you're focusing towards. If you're just trying to get to and from skilled jobs and you don't really need a car, you just want to use a car, this is probably a better option for you because it became a better option for me. On the other end of this, I wouldn't want to put a ridiculous amount of miles onto my car because I don't know what could happen to it in the long run anyway. This gives the responsibility of somebody else that's going to have to maintain their vehicle even after I service it. So regardless of how many miles I put on it, it's always going to be about what this car can do and perform for just that week. Everything should be safe and secure on that one. So it's something to look into if you don't have a vehicle. And the best thing about it is you could use Toro anywhere. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be um, in Atlanta. It doesn't have to be in LA or New York. No, you could use it anywhere. Everyone is out renting cars. Something that you could use as a resource to get to and from your jobs. Just make use of what you have to do and I promise it'll make, it'll pay it back for you. But it's just something to look into guys. So be understanding of it. And this is just an ingredient to give you guys so that you understand that these tools can help you make these dollars. Like a lot of these. We just travel to our jobs now. Easy as cake. And we make our money. Making $600 in two days. That's something to think about, guys. All right? PKG Deluxe is here. PKG Deluxe is out, baby. Yeah!